What's up? Court is now in session. You already know what time it is. It's your favorite attorney, Attorney Ali Booker. You know how we do this. I bring to the court of my public opinion. Okay, this is not legal advice because I don't represent you. So the only way that I'm going to be able to give you legal advice is if I represent you or it's a paid consultation. So don't look at this as that. Okay. However, you already know that you can write me, book at bookerlawfirm.com. I'm going to bring you to the court of my public opinion and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you the real personal and professional thought process on what the hell you telling me to tell you. Okay. Or if you asking me what I think, I'm going to tell you. So without further ado, let's get it to crack a lacking and let's go. I filed for divorce in Texas. It's already been over 90 days and my ex has not responded. What do I do next? I need to know what the next step is when I file for divorce and the 60 days are over. There's a child involved that's six years old. My husband has not issued a response back to the court. What should I do next to file, finalize this thing? Girl, <laughs> bring you to the court of my public opinion. Listen. Every state has websites up where these websites dedicate themselves to helping out pro se individuals with common occurrences, consumer rights claims, and child custody. TexasLawHelp.org and TexasSelfHelp.org are two very good websites that you can go to. They will walk all about walk you through exactly what you need to do to get your dispute finalized and they also offer samples of orders you are going to need to hurry up and move for a default he is not responding girl go now okay because he's done okay because you could be saying anything in the decree at this point but he probably doesn't have anything which is why he didn't answer and then he probably doesn't want to pay child support which is another reason why he probably did not answer so long as that child was born during the marriage and or there's an invalid acknowledgement of paternity between you two, move on. Carry on. He is the father and he will be paying child support. Go ahead and pull and pluck down one of those uh, orders. Fill that out. Um, I always tell people that they need to go seek the advice of an attorney and take the order to the attorney to make sure that they have filled it out properly because a lot of these websites will allow you to just check the proper box and the courts will accept those as orders. Um, you also can check the box and you can take it to an attorney to have them draft it for you as well so that it looks like most of the other orders that you can find in the courts. However, you need to hurry up and get your, um, get your divorce done and you need to get on those websites and read each step. And a lot of the times when you don't have a rude judge, because we do have a few that think that they are just, you know, drunk with power and they don't assist people very well. They just dismiss their cases when they don't do it right. I can, I'm so vehemently opposed to that. I, I don't know why they think that everybody has a pocket full or a big ass arsenal of money to give them or to give the courts or to implore an attorney. Some people cannot employ an attorney. They just don't have the money. Um, so the nicer judges will assist and bounce you around a little bit. Now they can't give you legal advice, but they'll kind of give you the leeway to kind of push yourself through and kind of push you in the right direction. But I'm telling you, get on those websites, pull that down, look at the step by step, find out which step you're in, because I don't know if he's been notified. Well, he doesn't need notification because he has not filed an answer. Okay, but you need to double check and make sure he did not file an answer. And girl, you need to hurry up and get your stuff. Congratulations, girl. Join the rest of us. Okay, it feels good on this side. Woo! Next case. Sorry, but it's true. For more information, contact the Booker Law Firm at 713-292-2225 or visit the website at bookerlawfirm.com.